Hello again. <clears throat> uh, we continue with the level stitcher, and today I add two uh, new tasks to advance in this in this uh, question. Um, uh, first, we must compute the center of the levels uh, as a property of the levels to to use. Uh, later in the map mode. Um, so, before that, uh, I wanted to <clears throat> do something that is a bit uh, tedious, but uh, it's necessary. That is the following. <clears throat> Let me show. We have several levels loaded, but uh, we have a problem because each level will have its uh, undo history. No, but uh, we have some problems <clears throat> with the uh, with the positions and the state uh, of the level. For example, in this case, if we advance to the next level. We make some moves, we return, we appear in the initial position uh, the player ha has when, <clears throat> when they enter the level. So if I undo now, uh, it, it's a bit weird, the, the behavior of the, of the levels. So, we will make uh, we will make, make first that the play function the play uh, yeah before we switch the current level we must uh, and before we um, we change the position of the player we must uh, record the the position or perhaps yeah let's do a reset before we change the position of the player because <clears throat> the reset uh, stores stores the the current position in the uh, hmm. we have yeah Yeah, let's let's do hmm, interesting. Yeah, we will have to make a uh, huh, different uh, functions because the reset function only stores the current state if it's different of. Um, of the previous level. Hmm. No, uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay. Uh, when we, as I say, sorry by the. We, we play the level before changing anything. We reset the state of the level. And when we change uh, the level, yeah, we will make an undo. And that will restore the yeah, perhaps this is a bit... Um, hmm. Yeah, no, let, let's make it... Uh, let's make it explicit, because... Yeah, the undo function... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Current, current state. Yeah, let's make it. 
let's make it uh, explicit. So, um, of course, we must check first this because, yeah. Um, Let's open current state and when we change the level we make uh, an undo. Yeah, so let's see if this works. When we change if we move left here, we change to the next level, we return. Hmm. We go, we return. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Perfect. I think. Let's, let's do some more complex movements. Uh, hmm. Here, as you see, the player is no longer holding. Uh, ah, this is uh, the... Yeah, this is um, this is a problem with the restore state because yeah, states uh, have reference to the yeah hmm. current state. Let's. Uh, <laughs> Hell could be null. Hell is a reference to a crate. This is wrong. This should be an integer value. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's do this and this. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And this is uh, minus one. This is minus one. This is the advantage of using types in the new Godot system is this. The, the editor itself uh, points to you. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this, <clears throat> this will, will have to receive uh, an index. Ah, we have a problem. We have a problem because this could, um, this could be the player instead of a crate. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, health. But we can reason like uh, we did before in the with the generator. This function is, uh, I think, is never called. Let's see. Mm -hmm. If hell is equal to crate, yeah, this this is uh, obsolete, I think, because <clears throat> yeah, we, we uh, let's see in the generator we have. 
Yes. Yeah, we came to the to the solution to the non-recursive solution, and we never call this function with uh, minus one. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's reason similarly here. Um, and this is never true. Okay. Let's check. Then. Uh -huh. This will be a great index. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is this, this is this, and a uh, pusher will be an array of ints. Hmm, no, this is, ah, neighbor needs to be, uh, yeah, neighbor needs to be an index, um, so this will be, uh, Find neighbor, yeah, and this another index, yeah, great, mm -hmm. and now uh, direct push is also. An index, yeah. And C. Okay. I think, uh, let me test, obviously, because um, <laughs> help. Yeah, we are using this variable uh, mm, floating is a boolean held state two. Yeah. And, mm. Mm -hmm. Held, held, held. This is obsolete, I think. But let me check. Okay. Undo of simple movements works. Let's check the reset. Yeah. Now. Held in. Building works. Okay. So now we move the here. Now we return. Hmm. This is annoying. Why? Why is the health state? Status not saved. Hmm. Let me check. Restore state is the third element of the state. Mm -hmm. Anim arms. This function. This function is uh, 
Всипсы были. Нет. And we are calling it here to force, force, force. Ah, this is a problem. It's not the state. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's the... Mm -hmm. This should be... Uh, yeah. It should be managed by the by the uh, set okay if we have hmm, this is tricky because the undo if it uh, if it doesn't have uh, any states will do nothing will do nothing so uh -huh. Let's use this. Let's do this as a as a default before the undo. So if we uh, have a previous state, we will restore it. And if not, yeah, I think. Hmm. Just camera. Yeah. Ah, this. Hmm. The first time. Yeah, this should work, but I'm not sure. So, first time we enter a level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are held, holding, we switch, perfect. Let me make some more tests. Let's release the box, we go, we return, perfect. Nice. Okay, this I think it's working perfectly. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's let me uh, commit this. Okay. It's committed. <clears throat> I like to commit uh, each individual progress to to have a more detailed uh, history of the of the development. So, help is no longer a pointer. Now, uh, what I wanted to do is um, to change the... yeah. Let's open... Uh, yeah. Player position. Center. Let's do... Uh, Let's do this. Let's calculate uh, the center here. Uh, we, we, uh, yeah. we uh, were doing this. Yeah, let's uh, remove this. Mm -hmm. After all this vector three and uh, of this this and zero no sorry <clears throat> uh, x and y yeah. What happens now? Center. We expect the end of statement after expression. 
なかったですし。ミシン、えー、ミシンのコマ。Let's, let's,、uh, let's do this r a t i o n a l l y あ、yeah. p a r e n t h e s i s Parenthesis here, parenthesis here, and zero. Ah, so this is also、mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, when, <clears throat> when copy pasting code, sometimes. Now we have the center here and we need to use it here. And you pause. And it's sorry.、Uh, put center and Distance mm -hmm. this, sh this should be、uh, it should be a bit more <laughs> elegant, but、uh, for now, I think it will work. Okay. Yeah, now why did I do that? Because reasons, <laughs> um, let me show it. <clears throat>、uh, currently, we are、uh, computing the positions of all the things、uh, in the global space. This will change because I want to be able to. Uh, spoilers uh, to move the levels around during the game,、uh, during the playtime,、uh, because of some cataclysmic、uh, events and, and, and such. So, I want to, to be able to move the levels.、Uh, so、uh, we need to store all the positions.、Um, In the local space of each level instead of being、uh, global positions.、Uh, that's why I need to store the center of the levels for the camera, etc., as global positions. But、um, yeah, let me. Well, actually, the, the, camera, the camera takes into account the,、um, the global position of the level. But、uh, I wanted to have the center as a, as a constant value. Because <clears throat> here, each, each time we load the data, These are all、uh, local coordinates, but、uh, the global position, because the, yeah, this, this in reality, this should, this is also problematic because we are instantiate. The levels.、Hmm. Let me see what happens if I load. What are we doing here? We instantiate, we add it to the scene.、Mm -hmm. And before. 
Uh, this is weird. This should not work. <laughs> this should not work. Because... Let me check. If we... Hmm. This is a bit disconcerting. I think... Because <clears throat> we are instantiate the level, instantiating the level and loading the data. No? And in this function, we are assigning global positions to the elements of the level. But... Uh, huh. This is weird. Let me load only one level. Only one level and analyze. Let me uh, let me offset it by twenty. Okay. What happens here? Remove view. Uh, level, level, where is it? In player position, transform. Okay, the level is at twenty meters. No, and the elements. Let me. Select one of the crates. Position is three, which is local to the center of the level. Hmm. Why is this working at all? This is very weird. Unless, hmm, okay, uh, this actually it doesn't matter because I will change all this logic to be uh, local positions, but I'm flabbergasted because this should assign, let me see, we are adding the child we create the level, we load the data, and then, and then we change the global position of the level. So, ah, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Because at first we load all the levels in the origin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's why it works. But, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, if we, <clears throat> if we did, uh, if we did this uh, here before, um, or instead, uh, um, if we did this here, this would be obviously not work okay but nice nice it's interesting to analyze this kind of situations because it, it it could be in the future we could change the logic uh, of how we load things and and be surprised when they don't work but no matter um i will change this to be local positions anyway. So, um, so it uh, doesn't matter in reality, but I wanted to, to be sure. Position, global position, let me search, ah, Thank you. 
sorry, I'm, I'm global position. Let's change also the coins. Okay, this should work. Yeah. Even. Uh oh. We change. <laughs> we change the, of the level, but uh, as we have only one level. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me load more levels. 20 by 20. This should be working as always. Okay. Nice. Okay. The um, We have to... Global... Uh, yeah. This will be a tricky change, I think, because we need uh, we need to hmm. global position. What's this? Okay, level. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is for the player. Yeah, I don't know if we should make the player a child of the current level or hmm, or do all these uh, acrobatics with the global position because the player will also move around in the global space of the game. Uh, when when the player w uh, exit a level will will be no longer inside the level, so yeah yeah the player should have uh, always the global position I think and uh, yeah yeah and this is not needed I think. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the player should have always the global position. Now, this is the camera. Global position. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is the global position of the player. Here. Here we use the local position mm -hmm. current level yeah twin property and move ah uh, this is hmm. <laughs> this is tricky because we use the animation animation logic uh, for the player and the crates so ah yeah. we can use the position because we uh, we use the as relative method for the twins and the twins have this method that it tells them uh, to use the the value you pass to the twin uh, to use it as a relative moment is instead of an absolute so i think this will work okay we are rounding the position just in case yeah now this is it gives the position of the thing we are uh, calculating, yeah, we must, um, yeah, we use it for the player also. So we must uh, return, hmm, if um, is self, 
we will return um, global position minus let me think yeah uh, mm -hmm. and if not we we'll return the position Yeah, because the, the player is not a, chill, a child of the level. Ah, this, this will be tricky. Hmm. When the current level... Uh, is null because we are outside and uh, this will have to change but for now uh, for now we will use this okay let me search again global this is mm -hmm. global position yeah restore state this will uh, have to be dot x and dot y mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Great position, yeah. This uh, we already changed. This is global, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that is all the changes. So this should work as intended. Mm -hmm. Perfect for level. Yeah. If we return, mm -hmm. okay, the positions now are on all, all, all um, relative. And this, this is nice because this will allow me to to use uh, any position. We could, in theory, animate the level and have positions that are. Um, um, uh, not uh, round numbers and the logic will work because <clears throat> yeah although hmm, perhaps while animating we should uh, work with uh, movements <laughs> because they are those situations are always a bit uh, tricky but in theory, now we can uh, move levels around uh, and animate them and all the logic of the game will work the same. Even we, uh, we could even rotate some levels, although of course that will change the gravity, but uh, let's worry about that later. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, okay, I think uh, for now it's enough to show. Although obviously, visually we didn't change uh, much, but um, the logic is now uh, more robust. So I'm satisfied. As always, thanks for watching. Please uh, share the video with your game dev friends <laughs> or with people that uh, could like this kind of thing. Bye.